Hey everybody, welcome back to my Eurovision React Review channel. So um, I've just come back from a run, hence why my hair looks greasy. Um, but nonetheless, <laughs> what I thought I would do is just for the next hour when I've given myself a bit of time off, um, before I jump into the shower, because this is gross, um, is check up with MESC 2023. Now, I know that there are a significant, significant minority of subscribers on my channel that are Maltese for a multitude of reasons. And as a result of that, of course, people are asking me to check in or react to songs from MESC 2023. Right. It's, we've had, what, 26 songs now? There's no way I can check all of these songs. <laughs> so ultimately what I'm going to do is I don't really have a plan. Basically for the next 30, 40 minutes, I'm just going to watch some songs and there's going to be no particular order. Probably the songs are in my top 15. And that's as much as I can really do. Now, can I just say, currently right now, one of my best pastimes, I actually haven't watched any of the quarterfinals on Friday nights. Um, but one of my favourite pastimes at the moment is either Friday night or Saturday morning is just checking Twitter in regards to, like, I do love Twitter because the hardcore Eurovision fans just surface. And like, the hardcore Eurovision fans that just watch any national final and just seeing their comments as they watch MESC 23 I find absolutely hilarious like one of the common ones is obviously the mass amount of commercials in Malta which is insane but moreover just like the comments in regards to the artists I think hardcore Eurovision fans are ultimately saying things not to be mean but just to engage with what they're watching now the reason why I haven't reacted to anything so far is because I kind of disagree with Malta's approach because it would be so much more easier for me with limited time and with so much Eurovision going on that I react to the qualifiers. But for some benounced reason, the producer or producers decided, oh no, we'll just have these quarterfinals and then in a couple of weeks time, we'll tell you who got through. Well, that makes no sense to me. And as a result of that, it is a shame I haven't been able to engage with Malta thus far, but I feel someone needs to champion Malta. <laughs> I think someone needs to champion MESC 23 as best as, as one can, because it's one of the national finals that just no one's talking about. And even people in Malta, like, if, if truth be told, speaking to some, I think even some people in Malta are a little bit disappointed or potentially not embarrassed but in regards to, there are some good songs in there. It's just how they've gone about with these quarterfinals. I have seen like one or two snippets of how it's staged and it does feel a little bit sterile and it doesn't really showcase the songs from what I could see. So this is going to be a fun experience. But in regards to kind of, so that's annoyed me. And also, which I think is quite funny. So I can't tell you who told me. <laughs> But ultimately, when I spoke to someone about why is there so many songs in MESC 23, I thought it was because, a bit like Serbia, to give kind of unknown talent a chance to shine. Because when it comes to national finals, I think selectors naturally are drawn to people that have either done it before or have a name. So if you've got a wider... You might hear my coffee going, so bear with. I might have to stop, stop that in a second. Um, when you've got a wide range of of slots then more people get to showcase well apparently that's not the case so i have found out <laughs> from someone who spoke to someone within the production team the reason why there are so many songs <laughs> is because last year people in malta questioned the quality of the songs and said well what on earth did you reject then you must have rejected really good songs if this was the songs that you selected to which, apparently, the response from the production team was, well, okay, if you're going to critique us, we're going to give you 40 songs so you get a taste of the songs we did reject. <laughs> now, if that's true, if that's true, and I believe from my source that is true, that's brilliant. I love that. So in Malta, if you challenge the production team or the people choosing the songs, what they'll do... <laughs> is they will include the songs they rejected just to annoy you. <laughs> so if you critique it this year, expect 60 songs next year. Best to just shut up and just allow them to do it. <laughs> so anyway, um, I've got to make my coffee. I've got 35 minutes. So let's see how many songs I can kind of touch base with. Okay. Makes sense to go with Aiden, right? Fire, fire. 
It's not as instantaneous as Ritmu. But you've got to realise that obviously it does seem these quarterfinals, I haven't, from the one or two simps I've seen in regards to upbeat numbers, there is no backing dancers. So I think this is just so people can hear the song live. I've got to remember that in regards to my first impressions of Ritmu were literally live on stage. This is live on stage, but in regards to backing dancers and staging and an arena and stuff. It is more understated than Ritmu at the moment. Okay, this is the bit from the snippet and I like this bit. Imagine him not circling and feeling himself, but <laughs> there being <laughs> backing dancers and choreography. I tell you what, like, I believe this is Aiden's full-time job, right? He's a full-time singer and performer. It's not, um, because obviously in Malta, it's not as easy to make a career out of that. And as a result, that's going to, particularly this format, being asked just to stand there and just sell your song. People who have experience and whose job it probably is to be a full-time singer and performer are going to have a huge advantage. Like, he's selling this song because he is a performer, right? Um, yeah. The question is, do I prefer this or Madame? Because I thought that from the snippet. I was like, should you have picked Madame? I like that song. I do love this bit. It's an earworm. But every other part of the song, I'm not as convinced. Oh, this is bit. This is good. This is just going to be elevated with backing dancers, isn't it? Oh, it's only two and a half minutes. Um, okay. I'm not watching that for the first time like I did with Ritmo. I mean, Ritmo's right there, right? Do you remember that staging? That staging was awesome. I still don't think rule him out. He's got a significant fan base amongst Euro fans. Like when I saw him in Madrid, he came and performed at the Madrid preview party and people just went crazy for him. So he has somewhat of an international following. I'm just not sure that that, strong as it's, that song as it stands is as strong as Ritmi, but also as strong as Madame. I really liked Madame. I do like Madame, present. Okay. Maybe I need to see that one actually on, if it qualifies, I think it's qualifying, right? I think he's got enough fan base in Malta. And moreover, there'll be people in Malta that basically will be justice for Ritmu as well. So I think we can safely say he's in the final anyway. So it'll be interesting to see how that's staged and how that's elevated. Right, let's pick another one. Okay, disclaimer. Um, I had hoped that the performances or all the performances would be on YouTube. That's not the case. So it seems like only the real kind of popular front runners have seemed to find themselves onto YouTube on different channels. So actually it looks like who I'm watching will be decided by the YouTube gods. So let's go with Maxine because I found her song live and I know that she was one of the front runners in regards to someone that we are familiar with. And I actually quite like the snippet. It was in my kind of top 15 from the snippet. They were significant snippets. So it did give you a, a significant um, understanding of what, of, of the feel of the song. In this sort of format, it benefits you if you've got a slow song, right? I think Aiden was set up to fail with that one. But if you've got a song in this Spain, it's just easy to stand there and just sing your heart out, right? She's got a beautiful voice, isn't she? The feel of this song is completely different to her previous two efforts. Go you, Maxine. Is she a full-time singer and performer? Well, if she's not, she's talented. The vocal is effortless. 
that. Like, honey. She's kept something vocally for the end. She's got such amazing control on that vocal. Seems like the recording there um, broke up at the end. Um, she could not have done anything more in the sense that that performance was was absolutely flawless. The vocal, how she performed it, the emotions in that delivery. I do question whether that song is memorable. That's my only my only issue. Um, and I know it's so easy for YouTube reactors to keep saying, well, there's no juries in the semi-final and as a result, ballads are going to struggle. Well, potentially not. If it's a good ballad, if it's doing something fresh, it's doing something new, there's a hook in it that allows you to kind of remember it. People love a ballad. But I'm just kind of thinking about other ballads right now and other national finals. Like take Elsie Bay, for example. Take... Um, Bridges in Estee Lau, I, they are better, in my opinion. They're more memorable, they stand out, they're more kind of fresh and unique. Well, I know, fresh and unique with Elsie Bay, people will question me on that, but nonetheless, it's more memorable. Um, and the thing is with Malta, like, whilst I really dislike it, in the sense of the winner can and has changed their song, but for me, every time they've done that, well, the two times they've done that. I actually, in my opinion, felt that the song was better, even though it's a bit of a farce in the sense of Malta spending money in regards to voting on Televote or text messaging. And then that song then gets overnight decided, no, nah, we're not using that. <laughs> it's, it's a double-edged sword. On the one hand, I think that's completely a joke and you should not do that. But on the other hand, Every time Malta has done it, as I said, it's been the right decision. I think she's super, super talented. I, for me, just don't think that that song shines as much as she does. And that's my opinion. Right, let's search for other songs, but it is hard. This 35 minute kind of window that I have is being sucked up with actually trying to find these songs. Okay, Brooke. <clears throat> I actually have no expectations for this one because I felt that the snippet didn't actually give you a vibe of the chorus. Aesthetically, she just looks like a star, doesn't she? This is the bit we didn't hear, right? It's interesting without being too shady. Um, Aiden, take note because her song's a lot slower, but what she's doing with her, I don't know, she's obviously not improvising. This is obviously choreographed. This choreography seems a bit more slick and less awkward. Um, okay, this is promising. This might be my favorite of the three so far. The song sounds familiar though when it goes into the chorus. I can't think what it reminds me of. On the edge for you, for you. This is more instantaneous and more of a hook than Maxine's, unfortunately. This is where previous exper experience at MESC pays off, right? Because she's selling this, uber confident, looks like she belongs there. Right, I think I've got it and people can question me. That going into the chorus, I think it's Norway's Icebreaker. Icebreaker. I think there's something about that movement into the verse and the chorus that makes me think of another song. It's a Eurovision song and I can't think for the life of me what it is, but I think it's Icebreaker. I think. On the edge for you, for you. Okay, so I think from what I can see from that performance, that's my favourite so far of the three. I, do you know what? I'm going to be gutted for Aiden if he doesn't win. <laughs> 
I think after the Ritmu scenario, and I think going into this, and when people found out that he was entering, I think there was so much excite- excitement and so much kind of like justice for Aiden. Oh, I don't know. Mind you saying that, I think I think what we've seen from that, I'm already sold, whereby with Aiden, I think there's room to be more sold in regards to that being performed with choreography and backing dancers. Okay, let's see what else I can find. Right, it's no good. I can't find any other song on YouTube and I tried on Google as well. So I'm not actually going to say anything too constructive about these recaps because I'm really, really, really anti-recap. But I am just curious to see live vocal. I think that's key. And also present on, presence on stage. So I'm going to be careful not to comment on songs. Thank you very much, Mizia Yorovitsia. As a YouTube reactor, we love you. Oh, this is one of the favorites. She looks stunning. All I'll say from that snippet is that song already from that snippet sounds a bit more instantaneous than Maxine's. And vocally, she sounded fine. Um, But again, be careful what I say. These are snippets. Okay, this isn't a song that I remember, so I'm not going to say anything. Oh, Clintus. I said about this song, I said, like the song, like the vibe, wasn't convinced with the studio version that I heard that she had the vocal to carry off. Not that she's not, not that she's got a bad vocal, but it was about the fact that this evidently, for what I could hear, needed a power vocal, and I just wasn't sure, so... Mm. Um, I will say in regards to Clintess after my reaction I found um, her YouTube channel very interesting character she does these videos about her life which are quite interesting Um, okay Fabrizio I mean he's a professional he's been on the Eurovision stage twice And again, it, it seems a little bit less awkward than Aiden's. Um, and again, this isn't being shady to Aiden. It just did feel a little awkward. Um, <laughs> uh, Fabrizio, he's been there. He's been there before. Ultimately, you can hear vocally he sound and he just looks comfortable on stage. As much as I can say, I don't particularly like his song. This is my favourite. This is still my favourite. <laughs> that was the first one I tried to find earlier. It is not on YouTube. If anyone's got a link for it, please send it to me. Because from what I can hear from that song, it's right up my street. Don't remember this one. I remember this one. <laughs> oh, it looks like he's having a great time. <laughs> yeah, I know people like this one. I was a bit meh from the snippet. And this isn't convincing me. Okay, so this is one of my favourite songs from the snippets. And I didn't realise that it's one of the songwriters is the same songwriter behind Sophie from Junior Eurovision, Solas. Because, yeah, he commented on that reaction video, the snippets, snippets. And I was like, who is this person? And I researched them. I was like, oh my goodness, you're the songwriter behind this song. And moreover, Sophie Solas. Legend. Love that guy. Evidently, I just tap in with his music. The mirror. He's got amazing eyes. This guy's got amazing eyes. Yeah. (laughs) 
Okay, so nine times out of ten, every snippet again. I'm not saying anything about the song. Live performance, on stage, do they look like they're in the stage? The one thing that is clear from everything I've seen, I think vocally everyone so far seems to be pretty on point, but I'm kind of used to that at MESC right now. I've reacted to this one. I like this song. See, I like that song. A lot of people are really, really slating MESC Malta. And like, some of the reasons are justified. But like, I think there are small rough diamonds in there. Like, people really like Andreas from Esti Lau, which I watched the other, yesterday. And I like the live performance, I really liked it. I think this song's better than that one. I like, again, I've only heard a small part of it, but what I can hear, I really, really like. Ah, oh, this is the the song about Ferrara. <laughs> Again, Mrs. Jurovizia. He's Polish, his name. Legend. Yeah, I don't think this song's doing anything for me from the snippet. I don't think it's going to when I hear the full thing, but vocally she sound. So this is the song that I have a sneaky suspicion is going to do well just by the vibe of it. And I still hold out that the lead singer is a handsome guy. Oh, I like this one. Just like a little vintage power ballad. Here we go. I mean, that's a good comparison with Lindsay and Maxine. What I was saying and what I was saying when I reacted to Maxine was the control in her voice and the kind of versatility in her voice. Now, obviously, I didn't see the whole of Lindsay's performance and that obviously snippet was her just belting it. But ultimately, this girl's a talent. I still think either this year or in the future, she's get behind her. But I just think that this song isn't as amazing as she evidently is. So I wouldn't be against her winning and maybe picking another song. As long, uh, ooh, as long as, yeah, there's a lot of involvement in who's selecting that new song. Again, sounds like a great vocal. I mean, I don't remember this song from the snippets. I must say, he sounds identical to the studio version. Go in, good vocal. This is one of my favourites. I can't hear a vocal though. That was interesting. The vocal didn't come through there. Either they turned it down. <laughs> or, um, yeah, she might not be used to performing live on stage. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know who she is. Yeah, there's a lot of songs that just blend into each other at MESC, right? Here she is, Queen Brook. I mean, everything about this, isn't it? Every now you're looking at them all together, right? What she's wearing, that vocal, aesthetically makeup, hair, like it just shines. 
It shines. She has a huge advantage over the others. Because of those factors, in my opinion, there's someone outside of Malta looking at these back to back. Ah, uh, Yeah, I wasn't blown over by this song from the snippet. Oh yeah, I remember this one. I like the shirt. <laughs> Fits in with the feel of the song. And he looks like he's uh, living his best life. What I want to know is how is Malta going to vote for songs? Because so many of these, like, I've forgotten a lot of these songs already. Is it just going to be, I, uh, is it just going to be who has bigger fan bases? Because a lot of these songs are so similar. If I was in Malta, I'd just be like, well, I don't know. It, uh, I think there's going to be the obvious ones in each qualifying. I think it's just going to be absolutely potluck who's going to take the, the other qualifying spots. Just because this is unique and different, this has to qualify. I need that in the MESC final. If people in Malta are watching this and you're lukewarm to Matt Black or that song, please do me a favour. Please vote. I need to check if I can vote, actually. I mean, when you listen to all of those songs and then you get to Matt Black, then you think to yourself, this is refreshing. This is kind of like making me open my eyes. And that enough means it deserves its place in that final. And I follow him on social media. I follow him on Instagram. And he seems like a... A wicked guy. So I am I'm, I'm team Matt Black. So yeah, I am really sorry. I've done the one thing that I never like doing and that is reacting to snippets. But ultimately all I wanted to do is just kind of gauge presence on stage and live vocals and just remind myself some of the songs. I haven't obviously gone back to these songs since the snippets. So yeah, um, if there are other videos on YouTube of some of these performances, particularly people like Matt Black, please do let me know um, because I can't find them. And I would love to check them out. Probably not react to them on my channel, but certainly in my own time, check them out. Um, or there might be a website somewhere out there in the internet universe that has all the songs on, which I can't find. So yeah, those are my thoughts. Uh, please let me know what you think below. Um, if you're still here and you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do. Please click the notification button so you're informed if and when I post videos. And yeah, until next time, stay safe.